We're at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where tonight the Red Wings take on Bayport. Alongside my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Thanks for watching everybody. Chris, uh, North took Bayport right down to the wire and, and frankly I didn't think North played that well. I think South has a chance. Well, a lot of things going into tonight. South, big senior night for them. Uh, last home game, a lot of confidence things going into the tournament. Keys for them to be play well tonight, reasons to beat Bayport. And I agree with you, Marty, the other day, I mean, I think Bayport was a really nice team and things like that. One thing they're really good at is they're really solid, but they're beatable. Now, one of the guys that had a really good game for them was a guy by the name of uh, Ryan Tachek, and I think he was 6-for-6 six six in the first half. He finished with 22 points, and uh, he was really a stud inside. Well, I've been thinking about it all day, Marty, because I knew you were going to say, well, how are we going to stop this kid? I don't know. <laughs> I've been trying to think. Now, should we play zone? You know, trying to think what Coach Schultz would try to do is, you know, try to man up on him. And, you know, that kid just gets his points, and he's got big hands, and he's strong. He gets good post position like that. You know, I don't know if you're going to throw Riley Tudis on him or uh, Schroeder or Blusky or something like that, but, you know, he's going to get his points. It's maybe stopping everybody else is the key. I think Coach Chesitel gave us a stat. He's shooting like 75% from the floor, too, so... He's definitely a key to the game, but uh, I think stopping other guys might be a more important. Now, one of the things I think that South shouldn't do is play a zone defense, frankly. I think uh, Bayport really works the ball around, and uh, we saw their shooting ability. Yeah, like we said, they, you know, they're really solid. They really take care of the basketball pretty well. They don't turn it over a lot. You know, they shoot very well from three-point line. They didn't shoot very well the other night till late when, of course, they had to. But they're just a complete team. You know, I'd probably be sprinkling the zone here and there, but you're right. I think they just man them up and see what you can do against them. Now, one of the guys that looked pretty impressive in the North-South game was uh, this Michael Schrader, and I think he's going to be a key tonight. Yeah, he's really come on the second half of the year, kind of like the single kid on the North side. I mean, he's really improved every time we've seen him play. And... You know, he's the tallest kid that North ha or excuse me, South has. Bayport's a pretty solid Don't get yourself in trouble. They go 6'5", 6'4", and things like that. So he's been a nice contribution uh, for Sheboygan South. Another guy I think that's going to be really important for the Southsiders tonight is Ethan Berlin and being able to handle the press. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Coward's kid for Bayport, he's just a solid little point guard like that. I, and for uh, South to go, we've been saying it all year in football, and now let's end the season the same way. How Ethan Berlin, the rest of the team goes. He's going to have to contribute, probably get 14, 15 points a game, and somebody else is definitely going to step up. But this is a game Sheboygan South can definitely get. One other guy is, uh, and you mentioned him, Riley Tudis. He was pretty much invisible in that North-South game. He's got to be a visible player tonight. Yeah, he was real sick that night, but, you know, South's run off four straight games now, and they've got some confidence, some wins and things like that. They haven't played the best teams. We'll talk about that later. But they have, you know, been winning some games, and, and Riley's definitely a key factor to that. He's a big, solid guy, and he's, he, too, has to stay out of foul trouble. But for them to go in the tournament and even win tonight, Riley's got to have a nice game. One more thing, Chris. Uh, on Sunday, day after tomorrow, teams come together for seeding. Uh, tonight's game could be important in uh, seeding position. Yeah, I think this is a, a, a very big game. You know, Bayport, they're still trying to clinch that conference champion out outright for them. But uh, the sectional this year is a little bit different. It's, it's not like the old days. They've added another division, and there's five teams, five divisions now. And with that, that means the Green Bay School schools are going to be hosting the Sheboygan schools. And basically, your sectional is the entire conference plus a couple throw-ins, it's, but it's basically the FRCC. So if you know Sheboygan South can reel off a couple games, maybe they can become a four seed or maybe a three seed instead of maybe a five seed of where they're sitting right now. All right, with that, we're going to step out and we come back. We'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's ball game. Almost half of all parents who suspect their child has a problem learning wait a year or more before getting them help. Why? When there's so much they could be achieving. Kids with learning disabilities are smart. They just learn differently. Call or visit us on the web now. Excuse me, Mr. Executive who studied trigonometry back in school and now sits in a huge office and drives a finely tuned luxury car. Yes, Mr. Only learned basic math, so still have an entry level job and have to live with your mother. Uh, if you need me this weekend, I'll be here filling out your expense reports and timesheets because that's really the only kind of math I can handle. Great. 
Simple addition and subtraction sound right up your alley. Have a great weekend in the country, sir. My cell phone number and John's cell phone number. Hey, pretty. And um, number the restaurant where we're going to be. And oh, I've um, left you my pager number too, just in case, because yeah. you never know. Um, John, you have the gift? The odds of a babysitter calling 911? One in 1,400. So should happen, please don't hesitate. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism? One in 150. You know the odds of autism. Now learn the signs. Go to autismspeaks.org. Okay, this time, I'm going to do it. I'm going to actually go to school. Tell me about some of the stuff you've had to deal with. I just dropped out completely. I just got caught up in it, the whole scene with the alcohol and the drugs. I was arrested. A lot of my friends, they were really concerned, especially my friend Aaron. You just have to find someone. They don't have to tell you advice. They don't have to do that. They just listen. Give Frankie and our class of 08 the boost they need to graduate. Join us at boostup.org. Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, they're getting ready to announce the uh, four seniors and the senior manager from uh, this year's Red Wing team. So let's uh, listen to Sim Safford. All state football player, all conference athletes, and a valedictorian. As a group, these five young men have a combined, combined grade point average of 3.69. Beyond our seniors, we would also like to take this time to thank their parents for the sacrifices they have made, the miles they have traveled to watch their sons, and their overall support of the boys' basketball program at South High. Thank you, parents. Now on to our seniors. Our first senior carries a 4.0 grade point average and has been selected as co-valedictorian. When asked to describe him, his teammates call him the smartest guy I know, the best ping pong player on the team. He was also recognized for having the best morning hair and for brewing up the best water in the conference. During his time at South, he has been involved in Link Crew, Students Against Substance Abuse, National Honor Society, tennis, basketball, and football. He counts going to sectional finals the last two years as his favorite memories of basketball. He plans to, plans to attend UW-Whitewater as a Chancellor Scholar to major in computer science. He is our manager. His parents are Sue and John. They call him Zuzu or Z. He is Nathan Zuski. I know him as a -1. Our next senior carries a 3.4 <laughs> great point average. When asked to describe him, the following terms were used by his fellow seniors. Silky smooth, difficult to comprehend, spacey, and the best Call of Duty player around. His teammates also give him credit for being a fast talker, having good taste in music, for overrating his foosball skills, and for constantly yelling at his brother. During high school, he has been involved in basketball, baseball, and football. He counts his favorite memories of basketball as going to sectional team meals and bus rides. After graduation, he plans on attending UW-Whitewater. He wears number 23. He is the son of Sandra and Gerald. He is Marcus Jones. Our next senior carries a 3.5 grade point average. Has been active in basketball, football, track, National Honor Society, and the Red Wing Leadership Council. His fellow seniors recognize him as the best dunker on the team, being terrible at video games, and being the best dancer on the team, or so he thinks. His teammates also recognize him for eating the most food at team meals, having a great sense of humor, and for always listening to music. He counts team meals as his favorite memories of basketball. 
After graduation, he plans on attending Winona State on a football scholarship. He wears number 21, the son of Katie and Todd, O'Reilly Tudis. Our fourth senior has a 3.87 grade point average and plans to attend Madison, Marquette, or La Crosse following graduation. He has participated in basketball, link crew, football, National Honor Society, and student council during his time at South. His teammates describe him as being a great storyteller, having a great sense of humor, being overly organized, and watching way too many movies. He is also recognized for being slightly psycho, but in a pleasant way. Having hair like Wolverine from the X-Men and for being a great teammate. He counts going to sectionals, bus rides, team meals, and hanging out in the locker as some of his favorite memories of basketball. He wears number 35. He is the son of Kathy and Bob, Cal Velasky. Our final senior has been a varsity player for three years. He has a 3.67 grade point average and has been involved in National Honor Society, football, basketball, link crew, and the Red Wing Leadership Council. His teammates describe him as being always happy, friendly, quietly sarcastic, and a true pimp daddy. He is also credited for having a man crush on Adam Sandler, being a great leader, and for being one tough little man. He counts going to sectional finals the past two years and team meals as his favorite memories of basketball. He will finish his career as South High's all-time leader in assists and steals. He wears number five, son of Pama and Jamie, Ethan! Berlin! Once again, the boys' basketball program would like to thank all of our seniors and their parents for all they have done for the Sheboygan South basketball program. Let's have another nice round of applause for our seniors. Thank you very much. This game is being played according to the rules of Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association. These rules provide for fair competition among players. Spectators can help promote good sportsmanship also by observing the rules of fair play. Each one is requested to take personal responsibility for keeping this game at a high level of good sportsmanship. And now, let's meet the starting lineups. First, for the visiting Pirates. 6-2, junior number two, Stephen Hodgson. 6-4, junior number five, Ryan Tawczyk. 5-9, junior number 21, Joey Kalowertz. 5-10, senior number 24, Nate Melcher. And 6-3, senior number 34, Tyler Turgeon. Bayport Pirates, our coach, head coach, Nate Rickle. And you see and coach now, Rickle. your starting lineup for your Sheboygan South High Red Waves. 5'10", senior, number five, Ethan Berlin. 6'2", senior, number 21, Riley Tudis. 6'1", senior, number 23, Marcus Jones. 6'2", junior number 31, Thomas Murray. And 6'2", senior number 35, Cal Belusky. Red Wings coached by Tim Schultz, assistant Andrew Damp. Our officials for tonight's game as assigned by the FRCC, Terry Sipple and Dwayne Colts. Our trainer for this evening from Prevea Health, Maggie Bauer. Bauer, Bauer with a B. 
For all your athletic injuries, see the doctors and physical therapists at Sheboygan Orthopedic Associates, where relationships happen every day. Tonight's game supervisor, Jamie Berlin, and Mr. Todd Tudis. Ooh, Sim never wanted to stop. <laughs> Bayport controls the opening tip. Hodgson has it on the side. Tachik, number five, steps out to take that outside uh, pass, Chris, but uh, look for him underneath the basket most of the night. Nice dish underneath. Tachik starts it off with an easy two. One thing they do very well, find him in the paint. Both teams opening in a man-to-man. -man. Tudis fouled on his way to the basket. That foul will go on Turgeon. Well, we did the game the other night against Bayport and North, and I thought it was a very well-officiated game. Um, fouls were not really an issue in the game, and uh, it came down to the end there. Uh, it was well well-played game and well-officiated. Berlin had a good, a good shot inside, couldn't get it to go, steps out. Dish off to Blusky, his shot is off. Tudis under pressure, couldn't get it in. Another tap by Blusky, not good, and Bayport comes away. Outside shot is no good by Turgeon, and Berlin pushing. Tudis with a 13-footer, couldn't get it to go. Hodgson has it. Bayport running the break. Hodgson on the putback gets it in. Four to nothing, Bayport. Well, they had a great opportunity to the trip before this one, Chris, when they had all the shots at the hoop. Yep, there's a money basket. Good play by Murray, good pass inside. Bayport uh, really patient on the offense. Uh, also, do you notice uh, Taylor Ditternot starting leading scorer for South? Yeah, they let Jones, the senior, which is a nice thing by Coach Schultz yeah, there to have all the seniors start. But Murray's not a senior, he's starting. Well, they only have, could only have four. <laughs> <laughs> Why not start your high scorer? Well, it'll be the spark off the bench. Earlier in the year, Ditter came off the bench, so. Uh, good. Uh, Good body control on Melcher's uh, drive into the lane. Well, just like Tuesday night, Marty, all their shots are in the red. The other night, they were all in the blue. Tudis a little wild on the shot, not taking his turn, time, I mean, and uh, taps it out of bounds. Well, as we speak, Ditter does come in, coming in for Jones. 15 points a game for Ditter. Hey, what's your uh, philosophy on senior night? Start the seniors or start your regular starters? Uh, play my guys, start uh, my starters. Tudis on a nice steal, lean in, wild shot, no good. Blusky got the rebound. A lot of reload so far for South, so far. Murray, wide open look and rolls it in. Thomas Murray had a big night the other night. South's run off four in a row, Marty. The teams they have beat are 17 and 82, so not the best teams, but they are winning games. Yeah, they they ran into a dry spell where they lost four in a row. Ditter open from the same corner as Murray, and he drops a three. Oh, man. Eight to six, South. He scored eight of the last uh, 10 points. Outside shot is good by Melkor. That was a three-pointer. Oh boy, got a score on that one. Calwart's uh, looking for uh, Tachik inside, being guarded by Murray. Obluski well, tried to block it, but then he had a pull back.
had to pull back, otherwise he'd have committed an over the back fall. And uh, just as South scored those two quick threes, Bayport comes right back to uh, score five in a row. And now they lead it 11 to eight. Yeah, but North, or excuse me, South is three of 11 tonight so far. Yeah, Getting a lot of shot opportunities the first four minutes. Got to just find the basket though. Good defense inside. Schrader trying to keep uh, Tachek from getting the ball. He's just a junior, Marty. He's going to be a beast. Yeah, you, you got that right. Tachek got it in. His first, his second basket. 13 to uh, 8 now, and Tachek with the steal. Calwerts from outside the line, can't get it to go. Hodgson, rebound, pump fake, got it up and in. Good move by Steven Hodge, Hodgson. Good pump fake, Chris. Well, he's just tough in there too. He also just a junior, Calwerts just a junior. They're leading the league, 13 and one. Their lone loss is to Pulaski. Yeah, 42 to 40, they dropped that one. And South beat Pulaski. So just think about that for a minute. Nine point run. Hodgson makes it a 10 point run. All of a sudden it's 15, 16 to eight. Good cover up defense that time by Brzezinski. Schrader in the lane finally breaks the run. Cowards pitches it out to Hodgson. Murray with the good defense. There he is. Tachik again coming up with the loose ball. You wonder why he shoots 73% from the floor when he's always in the paint four feet from the basket or less. Did her open for just a second. Had a nice look, but couldn't get it in. Armstrong with the rebound for the Pirates. And losing the ball was Brzezinski. Schrader from outside the line. The big guy knocks home a three. I don't think South has run a set yet. All they're doing is setting and shooting. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a little bit of penetrate that uh, three-point shooter is getting down in the corner and is wide open. Tachik on a pump fake. Good kick out to Armstrong. He can hit them. A lot of up and down our action. 21 to 13, Bayport. Just under two minutes left in the first quarter. Bayport's just scored four times over 70 this year. Once was the other night. Lusky takes it in the lane. Scoop shot is no good. Tachek got the uh, rebound. Trader's gonna have, oh, we saw that the other night. Hodgson on the lob pass, a little off the money, threw it out of bounds. Salf will have it. Lockholm, Turgeon, and uh, Peckhauer come on in. Peachower, pardon me. Peachower, we didn't see the other night, Chris. He didn't play. And uh, if Mockholm played, it wasn't for very long. Peachower played the other night. He had one basket. He played a little bit. Really? Yep. Oh. Maybe it's because I was saying his name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> see Jake Knusen for South, the sophomore. Getting yeah. a little more playing time. That's good. Riley Tudis uh, traveled before he got the shot off. Good hands by uh, Berlin, but he couldn't quite get the ball. Brzezinski on a good pump fake, kisses it off the glass, but no good. And Tudis with the rebound and leads uh, Ditter a little bit too far. Mark Herman on a good catch. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bayport will still get it even though Herman's for South. Under a minute, it's 21 to 13. 
Bayport on top. They've had a uh, very good quarter, Chris, shooting it, rebounding, working the ball around. Turgeon, no good. Tip to uh, Tudis. And a bounce pass to Ditter, but he's fouled by Turgeon. That'll be his second. Boy, it's really quiet here, Marty. It is very. Another big game here. Bayport leads the league at 13 and one. South, fifth in the league, nine and five. Sheboygan South, 13 and seven. Uh, tough thing for uh, South though, they have not beat a team with a winning record since January 7th. And uh, they need a quality win and this would be one. Ooh, uh, they've only time. beaten, they're 13 and seven, but they've only beaten three teams with winning records all year. So uh, they need a quality Don't win. Don't go to the seeding meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, like you said before, you know, something to help their seeding would be a win like this one. That helps, cuts it to six with 30 seconds left. Did her uh, hounding hot, uh, Brzezinski. I like that little trap up there, good jump trap. We know that Bayport. You know what, it's good to have that uh, Tachik out of the game. <laughs> Down to uh, 10 seconds. Oh, good inside feed to Brzezinski. And uh, we got a foul on the floor. See, I put Tachik back in right here with four seconds left. He's gonna get a break here in a minute. You're on offense. So I put him back in the game right here. Right. I want my best player right here. I agree with you, Chris. I think that would be an excellent move. 4.7 remaining. Peach hour, no good. And South with the rebound, and that's the quarter. At the end of one quarter of play, Bayport Pirates 21, South Red Wings 15. Up with you. Let's get up and play. Do something. Stop slumping like a lump all day. Get on up. Come on. Get out the door. Let's shake that booty like never before. Let's run. Have fun. Let's jump and groove. Get up and get that body up. Make it move. Get up. Get up. Get up. And be a player. Get up. Get up. Get up. Woo. Let's run. Have fun. Get up and be a player. Get up and play an hour a day. Ouch. Sorry. For cool playtime ideas, go online. Just don't stay long. Personal foul, inactive activities on a glorious day. Huh? Let's get out there and play! Sweet. Ooh, freeze! When do I get to be in? Uh-oh. Hey, Reggie, frozen people can't talk. P-L-A-Y! An hour a day. I'm it. There are lots of great play ideas online, but don't stay too long. All right, getting ready to start second quarter action at uh, Sheboygan Saul Security Fieldhouse. Uh, Murray, Schrader, and Ditter each have five for their 15. Bayport is led by Tachik with six. And Melker with uh, five. Riley can't get on track here. He's 0 for six. South is five for 18 shooting. It's a good thing they hit three threes. 9 of 16 shooting for Bayport. What a shocker, over 50%. Hodgson also has five, Chris. I missed that there. You see uh, Coach Nate Rickle. Good hustle by Berlin, but wasn't quite able to get the pass through. And then we get a whistle on, uh, there you see uh, Tim Schultz for South. Last two years they've been to the sectional finals and it's always a neat thing. Um, trying to make it a three-peat. But the days of Oshkosh are gone. There's only four teams from Division One that go to state now and I think in a way that's kind of sad. Let's give everybody a trophy, right? Yipper, I agree with you there. Not having uh, eight Division One teams there is just that's different. Yeah, and they're, I mean, that's, those are the big schools and good players, and so you get to see less real big players. I'm not saying small schools don't have good players, but 
Uh, one of the justifications for having eight in Division One was the amount of students that those eight correct. teams represent. Tudis under pressure got the bump and he still made it. And he's wow. asking the official why not a foul call. Toughest one of the night for him and it goes in. Finally gets that lid off the basket. South down four, nice fake by Hodgson. Then he kicks it out to Calwerts and he knocks home a three. That's one thing that uh, Bayport didn't do in the first half against North. They had no three-pointers in that first half. Yeah, that's number three. They're three for five from out there, Marty. Too good. Murray gets it, uh, but kicks it right back out to Berlin. Good nice pass. Nice piece to Murray, and he's got an easy two. Nice pass. Assist from Riley Tudis. 24 to 19. Dump feed to Hodge and he fakes. And then um, Berlin steals it away. Good play by Ethan. Yeah, I thought uh, Riley should have kept on his feet there. He kept leaving his feet. He's lucky he didn't get a foul there. Yeah, Bayport very good at the pump fake. Tudis, that's uh, probably not his shot. South, hopefully will get a home game. First round of the tournament. Elker from 13. Yeah, it'd be uh, really nice. You would think North would get a home game. Yeah, they will. Trouble is, and they probably both play on the same night. <laughs> yes, they do. Oh, yeah. check over the top of Murray's gonna get called for the foul. That's an easy call. You got a good look at uh, Tachek. Good look at Kid. Schrader kick out to Ditter. He's open for just a second, but couldn't get it to go. And Velusky trying to tip it away, but uh, Bayport comes up with it, and they got a three on one. Nice work. Tachek with an easy two. Where'd he shoot that ball? Or In even you could make it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do something well and stick with it. That's what the old saying goes. Uh. Well, it's, you know, and South was just that far away from getting the loose ball, and when uh, Bayport got it, they had a three-on-one set up. Yep. Well, one thing uh, for you young players out there, traditionally three-point shots, if they're missed, they go long. And uh, Blusky tried to do the uh, right adjustments there by trying to tap it out or go after it there. Uh, but think about that sometimes. Instead of just standing and watching the shot go up, move to where you think the ball might be if he misses. That's what you do really well, Chris. Yeah, I go because I know you're going to probably miss. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say because I'm the one that's guarding you and I don't pay attention enough. Two this for two. South hanging in there. It's 26-21, Bayport. That's way off. Tell by the shot, it just wasn't right, Marty. And Schrader with a nice rebound. Did her down the court awfully quick. And uh, he gets blocked on the baseline, but they're gonna call a foul on Melker. South right there, Marty. Yes, they are. Four minute mark. Rolling down to the four minute mark of the first half. Schrader gets it inside, being guarded by Armstrong, and that's a mismatch, and he takes it right to the basket. Good play by Big Mike. Yeah, you're right there. Bayport 17 and three. Their three losses this year are to uh, Pulaski, which uh, is you know basically right there in the mix. They're third in our league. Also a very young team. Nina, which is actually ninth in the Valley, and uh, so that was a shocking Fox loss. Fox Valley Association. Yeah, the and then uh, Seymour was their other loss, and Seymour's ranked number two in Division Two. Whoa. Oh, rims out. 
South has made three out of four free throws. 26-22, Krasinski on the inside pass to a Mark Macomb. Armstrong taking it to the hoop, kisses it off the glass and in. He's a good player coming yep. off the bench. Sophomore, a lot of youth on Bayport. I, we've been talking about this for a while, a couple weeks, Marty, but the Valley is going to be Fox Valley Classic or Fox River Classic Conference, whatever, is going to be good next year as well. I think uh, Brock Macomb, number three, is going to get that foul. It's his second. Riley Tudis will be at the line. We had mentioned this the other night, Chris. Uh, Bayport does not shoot a lot of free throws, uh, basically because of the style of play. Uh, so far tonight, they've shot one. South will be uh, up to six after this next attempt, and uh, they've shot them pretty good, hitting four out of five so far. Well, they do that constant motion. Um, Plus when they're shooting two, two footers. Yep. Constant motion, try to wear down the defense, and then they get those easy baskets. And now uh, they do very good at that. Uh, it's a little bit different than some of the styles like South and North are doing, where they're more of a drive and kick type of a team. Uh, ball got tipped away, and it goes off of a Bayport player. There you see Berlin displaying good sportsmanship. Wholesale substitutions. Helping Picor out. Four starters back in the lineup. The joint Colwert's the fifth starter of the game, so they got all starters back yeah, in. Up by four, 316 mark. And uh, South basically the same thing. Technically Ditter didn't start the game, up, but uh, he's a starter. Interesting that uh, Tudis is out uh, playing a guard spot. Tough. Schrader had his shot blocked on the way up and couldn't uh, muscle it in. I like the attack though, Marty. Yep, that was very nice. Brzezinski for two, pardon me, Melker for two. Two more for Detter on the other end. All right. Good job there by South, seeing the floor, taking advantage of the easy basket opportunity. Ditter has seven now. Hodgson on a pump fake, gets Murray up a little bit on his toes and then takes him to the hoop. I don't remember seeing a lot of the pump fakes by uh, Bayport on Tuesday night, but uh, they're certainly making good use of it tonight. Well, and they, I watched the South defenders, they're all leaving their feet, Marty. Yeah, exactly. And uh, the pump fake is paying dividends. Melker's shot is no good. Two Bayport guys, Hodgson on a fake. Overlays, Murray with the rebound. Wow, that was a pretty easy shot. It looked like an easy shot. We're gonna call Calwarts with a foul. That's bonus time. Joey Calwarts picks up his first. It's the uh, eighth team foul. Murray will be at the line. Nate Rickle not very happy with that uh, turn of events. Well, then tell his players to quit grabbing. <laughs> oh, big oh, mess. bonus. They couldn't get it in. 2.14 remaining. 30 to 26. He's in the red. Oh, another Melker with a three. Boy, they had, South had opportunities, but once again, they don't convert. They had a couple chances to cut it to two or even even. They miss, and Bayport counters with that three, and now you're down by seven. Murray with a good bump by uh, Tachik. Did her bumped, no call. I tell you, there's some pretty good bumping going on, Chris. And nobody, well. Wow, coach out on the court. I think he's going to get a T. I'd like to know what happened. Uh, I think he called a turnover, but I'm not sure. We got a 30 second timeout in either case, and it's on Bayport. Well, uh, what I miss? 
turnover, it's I guess. That's what you missed. <laughs> oh. I think the officials must have missed something there. I don't know what happened. I think he thought that Callowitz went out of bounds, but uh, he didn't. I believe it's going to be a turnover on Bayport. Salt will have it coming in. Ugh. I didn't see anything. No, nothing. He, he got bumped. You know, I, I thought maybe they would have called a foul, but they didn't. And I think what uh, that far official, not this official, but the other guy, thought he went out of bounds. You know, in that situation, just admit that you made a mistake and give it back to Bayport. You know, sometimes you blow it well, with Well, you accident. ask your partner, and if he didn't see it, then you just, you, yeah. you know. Just take it out on the side, or I blew my whistle, then. But I think he thought he made the right call. Did her uh, a long three attempt, no good. It's 33 to 26, Bayport on top. A good back cut that time by Melkor. South continuing to play the man-to-man -man defense and then Dale, Taylor Ditter does get called for the push. And that was a good call. And that was his second, right? Yep, his second fall. Mike Schrader checking in for uh, Riley Tudis. Under a minute left until halftime. South got it down to uh, 30 to 26, and with a chance for a one and one free throw that they didn't convert. Well, South against just three of 12 in the quarter, Marty. Good Makes help. eight for 29, they're just struggling down there. Tachik oh, with a, a rare funny miss. miss. First miss of the night, he was four for five. His first miss of the first half in two games. <laughs> I think he said he was five for five or six, six for six. Six for six. On Tuesday, in the first half. Yeah. 30 seconds and counting, Bayport running her down. And, uh, they're pretty good at this stall tactic. Boy, South's been stuck on 26 a long time. All right, last basket was by Taylor Ditter to get him that far. It was 30 to 26 at that juncture. And uh, there hasn't been much scoring the last uh, couple of minutes. We're under 10 seconds now. Hodgson being guarded by Blusky. Jump shot under pressure is no good. And good effort, 0.6 seconds remaining. I, I see a lob to Tachik. And he's going to get it. Hodgson. Yep. Nobody paid attention to him. And he got it in. Wow, we, what a way to end the half. We're at halftime, south down to Bayport by a score of 35 26. All new Enclave. It's a minivan to the max with features like remote control sliding rear doors, 150 cable channels, a full sky view roof, temperature controlled cup holders, and the six point navigation system. It's the minivan for families on the go. Explore her grandeur. Appreciate her beauty. Protect her for tomorrow. Recycle your old rechargeable batteries. Call 877-2-RECYCLE or visit us online at calltorecycle.org. Everyone has friends. There's online friends. Friends to go out with on a Saturday night. Friends to hang out with and do nothing. Friends who show up on moving day. And then there are the friends who'll be there if someone is dealing with a mental illness. Are you one of those friends?
Television is a powerful and influential medium that allows different groups the opportunity to produce programming that directly affects their own communities. Public, educational, and government access channels ensure that all people, regardless of race, age, gender, disability, religion, or economic status, have access to local government information and the use of a public communication forum. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, some uh, first half scoring. Stephen Hodgson leads uh, all. Uh, has nine points. Ryan Tachik has eight. Peyton Armstrong, five. Joey Calwerts had three. And leading all scores was Nate Melcher with uh, ten. South was led by Ditter and Murray with seven each. And then uh, Riley Tudis and Michael Schrader each had six. And uh, only four people scored for uh, South, Chris. I think uh, Kerry's going to show us some uh, conference standings. Go ahead, Chris. Well, there you see it. And uh, what Sheboygan South is hoping to do here is get a victory here and maybe some help to uh, having uh, North maybe lose a game or perhaps Pulaski, and you can move up possibly to be maybe a number uh, four seed. Uh, a lot of things are going to have to happen for that to take place. Uh, those are some pretty good teams. you got four teams ranked in the top. Uh, 14 in the state in Division One. You got Pulaski is ranked 14th. Uh, North is ranked 10. Bayport 9, and De Pere, which by the way is in second place, is ranked number four in state. But they are 18 and two. They Bay are tough. Yeah, but Bayport did lose that game to uh, Nina, uh, who's who's not very good at all. So, uh, very interesting conference, and uh, it's all winding down. Only one left after today, and both Sheboygan teams are finished at home. So, uh, By the way, we're finished after next week, too, when uh, Oostburg goes to uh, Sheboygan Lutheran. And starting second half action, Bayport has a nine-point lead and the ball coming out. It's 35-26. Uh, Sheboygan South shot just 8 of 28 in the first half. Uh, you do the math, uh, it's not very good. About 28-29%. Bayport, as usual, at 50%. And what really hurt him, I thought, Marty, was the last five points of the quarter were scored by Bayport. Good job by Murray, using his quickness that time instead of trying to muscle up against Tachik. Yeah, just a fifth turnover for Bayport in the game. South only has three. A wild shot by Riley Tudis. Not a good attempt there. He's just two of ten from the floor, Marty. Yeah, he's, well, he hasn't had good shot selection. He's Correct. got shots up, but there haven't been good ones. Hodgson with a pump fake. Got it up, and he's fouled. Well, <clears throat> Coach Rickle got his complaining in, and he got that foul. But again, there's South leaving its their feet again. Hodgson's, uh, oh, he's five for eight from the floor. And the other night, too, he was, what? What's going on here? The guy put the basket through. I agree. I'm glad you fished the uh, scores keeper. You, you sh put your hand down like it was a basket. Oh, he meant it was on the floor. Okay. So no basket. No yeah. basket on that play. We're going to have to change the sheet here. It'll never be the same. No basket, still 35-26. I saw him put his finger yeah, down. Yeah, like I thought he'd count, it, count the basket and give him a free throw. We'll take this. No good. How about an over Another the back? Another rebound. And off the hands of Melker. And uh, South will get it. Man, there was a lot of contact there over the back. And it wasn't on the three white shirts either. Well, what's, uh, what's the delay? It's 124 to 26. Okay. So says Eric. Should be 35-26. Don't change the score, Kerry. <laughs> You're right. They're wrong. A1 coming over to provide a little help. There you see him. So you press that button over there, and that button over there, and then it turns out to be 35. Enter. There it is. 
<laughs> He's used to running that scoreboard <laughs> down at the ballpark that's 150 years old. Val Victorian. That's what you need. got those people at uh, that's why there South was, High. That's right. Well, South with a bit of a break there, Chris. Yep. On a couple levels. Ditter, open. Couldn't get it. And Bluskey knocks it out of bounds. One of the reasons why that happened, though, was uh, Tyler Turgeon's hustle trying to get the ball. South just 3 of 8 from 3. Ditter just 2 of 7 from the floor. So your scores, Tudis, who's second in, on the team, and Ditter, both struggling from the field tonight. Well, only four guys scored in the entire first half. You know, that's somewhat unusual. Money. Tachik, easy two. Thirty-seven, twenty-six. Uh, we had talked earlier about uh, South definitely has a chance. I mean, they're not that inferior, but they had to play a good game. And uh, one of the things they have to do good is shooting, and they're not shooting well. And a couple of good looks there, but the uh, ball just won't go down. Hodgson on a dump pass, but uh, Tudis read it well and intercepted. Murray inside. Jeez. Couldn't get it. On the trampoline is fouled. Marty, did I mention we've been stuck on 26 forever? Yeah, we were stuck on... Uh, Boy. It was 26, you're right. Oh, man. Ball goes on Ryan Tachik, his second. We're already two minutes into the quarter here, and they still haven't got a point till now. Good shot of uh, Thomas Murray. Mom works over at Longfellow. Eight of 32 from the field. One, two, three, four, five, excuse me, 33. Oh, good hustle by the Southsiders. We gonna get a tie up? Good job, good Riley. Tudis. Timeout time out by South. I think it'll be a 30-second timeout, but a good hustle down there. By Blusky there. And they were stuck on 20. Oh, it is a full timeout, Kerry. Let's take a short break. is helping students improve their grades and their communities by connecting the classroom with community service. Working together, students solve real problems, build new skills, and apply their knowledge in a whole new way. Inside the classroom and out, service learning opens new doors and brings learning to life. Get your school involved. Visit learnandserve.gov to find out how. Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, uh, Tim Schultz uh, talking to the troops. Chris, uh, you know, <laughs> in just a couple of words, shoot better. Yeah, just yes, shoot better. I mean, right. the hustle is there. They're fighting them on the boards, but they're just not shooting. How about a little noise by the crowd, too? It's been silent in here. Really? What happened to, like, the we'd home even, court advantage? We'd even take a baby crying. Yeah. <laughs> it's been uh, a quiet game. Somewhat interesting, that's for sure. Someone's got to make a basket for South. Boy, you get a three or something here, a couple baskets, you're right back in it. Berlin being guarded by Turgeon. Three-point play the old-fashioned way. North, uh, pardon me, South trying to work the offense. Murray got the ball back and put it up and in. Murray with good hustle. Got to just creep back here. Long way to go, Marty. Exactly. Got to have some good defensive possessions. Can't let him get that deep. That's not good defense. Just gets his couple points a game, runs the show, gets a little hustle there. Good hustle by Berlin. Good bounce pass into Ditter, who kisses it off the glass for two. Good hustle by Ditter. There you see, see the uh, play by Berlin as well. The bank is open. Callowitz has uh, five points now with that basket. Melker rims out. Blusky, I believe, is going to get called for the foul. Well, we got a minute. We want to congratulate Sheboygan South dance team as they went to lacrosse last weekend and 
took home the title. Congratulations to all those ladies. We are thinking about going to lacrosse tomorrow, actually, Chris, but uh, with the weather prediction, uh, we might just uh, stay home. Schrader and Jake Plant come in. Elker puts in the second one, makes it 40 to 31. Even the radio guys saying there's not enough noise in this gym. Yep, Jonathan Hensler over there. Bayport in a zone. Murray posting up inside. Plant from outside. Nails a three right off the bench. You gotta like that. Oh man. Pull me in, coach. Inside pass to Melker, but he kicks it right back out to Turgeon, who's open. Couldn't get it in. Planton trying to uh, save it, but uh, couldn't control it and gets it out, hits it out of bounds. Tudis back in. Murray coming out. It's 40 to 34. Bayport on top. They've led just about the latter fact they have led the entire game, except when South got an eight to six advantage, and then Bayport came right back. Melker hit a three and made it nine to eight, and they've been up ever since. Turgeon fading away, no good. Tachik. Money. Yeah, he did the uh, power dribble move, and uh, it worked to perfection for him. Got the ball to the other side, inside. Feed to Schrader. Nice pass. Under uh, 340 remaining in the third. Only a six point lead by Bayport. Armstrong kicks it out. And Tudis is gonna get called for an inadvertent trip. Just uh, wrong place at the wrong time. They get a good shot of Riley. Riley going to uh, Winona State. Play some football over there. Armstrong has it on top and uh, good ball movement by the uh, Pirates. And then Belusky with the steal. Gotta convert here. There Berlin it is. Spots an opening. Off the glass and in. Nice drive by Ethan Berlin. His first points of the night. 42 to 38. South only down four. Here come the birds. They need another defensive possession. Callowitz uh, got through on the baseline and then good passing. Armstrong open from out but can't get it. Tudis with the strong rebound. Let's see if South can score again. Oh. <laughs> you either give it to him or you have to swing it there. Yeah. And too many dribbles. Because as soon as there was help there, you still they got a mismatch there. You got to get him the ball. Now they get the switch back and now it's too late. Clock running. Rolling down to uh, 2.15 remaining in the third. South down four. Berlin steps back. 17 footer is no good. And Tachek with the nice rebound. Hallowards uh, kicks it out to Armstrong. And Bayport back to running the offense. And another feed to uh, Tachek is too deep. You know, Chris, they could get some awfully easy baskets because uh, Ryan Tachek is really good at sealing his yeah. guy off. But they never get him, they don't get him the ball enough. Or turnover in the quarter for Bayport. They're up to eight. Still not bad at this level. Under two minutes now in the third. South still down four. It's 42 to 38. We've been stuck on this uh, score for the last uh, four or five trips, actually. Well, this is what South had in the f end of the first half. They're oh, traveled. Tudis took it right into the teeth of the defense. 
And good defense by Berlin. Now that went off a Turgeon's knee. It should be Saul's ball, but uh, referee didn't see it that way. But Ethan Berlin preventing the easy basket. Oh, nice shot, but couldn't get it to go as Picor. Did her, uh, not able to get around uh, Armstrong. Once again, you got Bayport here with, what, one starter on the floor? Two Berlin starters on the floor. Gets fouled on the way in. Got to make make some hay right here. You got some of the bigger boys out for Bayport. Three starters on the bench. Matcomb picks up his third foul. It's the uh, third team foul. Pardon me, second team foul only. Oh. Just off the money. <laughs> Way off. Easy basket. Yeah. Good drive penetration too by Ethan. He'd probably like to have that one back. Can't get there. Well, uh, loose ball. Gonna stay with Bayport. Picar on the quick three point shot. I can't imagine Coach is real happy with that. Good ball movement again by uh, the Pirates. Under a minute. Hodgson has uh, been pretty quiet here in the second half so far. Number two. Two just trying to go for the steal. Couldn't get it. Under 40 seconds remaining in the quarter. Another long possession for the Bayport Pirates. You know, and Marty, it doesn't seem that anything bothers them. You know, they don't just panic. Yeah, they, exactly. You they, know, they get caught in a, in a bad position. They just pass out of it. Yep. Don't panic with the pass. Look at the situation and deal with the pressure. Good Un teams handle pressure. Rolling down to the 15 second mark. 10. How about a stop? This is the guy they want to have the ball. Picar open, rims out, and that'll be the end of the quarter. But a pretty good quarter for South. Only down four now, it's a 42 to 38. Jenny dear, don't forget my dress for the fashion show. We want Moi to look my best now. Jenny, Jenny, we started our book report. Here's the cover. Yeah, now what we need is a beginning, a middle, and an end. Jenny! Jenny, Jenny! Jenny, Jenny. Jenny. Hi, honey. Are you feeling blue? What's wrong with being blue? Well, where should I start? <laughs> if you're a teen dealing with stress, there's help. Visit the Will Rogers Institute website for a free booklet about teen stress and how you can de-stress your life. Right. Hey, uh, I got a filet of sole and a cracked crab for Mr. Studied Higher Math back in school and now can order expensive lunches and charge it to the company. He's in a meeting. I'm his never studied algebra, calculus, or any other kind of math. Now I'm stuck in this dead-end job assistant. Can you sign for it? Well, it's about the only thing I'm qualified to do. That and answer phones for Mr. AP Calculus and number theory expert with the big office upstairs. Have a good one. You too. Turn it up, baby. Jesse Michaels, you have gas. Oh, come on, guys. Armstrong from outside, no good. And then Hodgson tips it away from Blusky. And Bayport will keep it again. It's like uh, all the action for about the last five minutes has been happening down here to our right. They are on four. They just can't break that four point spell. They have the opportunities. Bayport just three of 11 shooting in that quarter. They're three for their last 12. That's a travel. Uh, I think that was a good call. He got Blusky up in the air again. Yeah. That's uh, Cal's third. South 13 for 41 from the field. Still not 30%. 
lead now. South could just get on a little run. So, I mean, they're getting the stops. But oh, it looked like Armstrong shuffled the feet a little bit, but no call. This get time, Belusky grabs it. Good strong rebound by Cal there. South with an opportunity. Ditter couldn't get his feet set. Dishes it in to Murray, who puts it up and in, and he's fouled. Watch this. Good hands, Murray. And he got the basket. Chance to pull within one. <laughs> Ditter with a good job of drawing the defense and then uh, getting it to uh, Thomas. There you get a good shot of him. Short on the free throw, but uh, uh, 42 to 40. Within two, they cracked the four point barrier, Chris. Yeah, but Marty, you got to make free throw. You just got to play well, all this. You just can't make mistakes. Whoa. A good call there. Hodgson a little bit out of control, and he's like, uh, what did I do wrong? Don't tell me they're calling that on the south guy. What? He pointed you the be other way. Me. Yep, he did. He did. All right. <laughs> uh, Coach Rickle not complaining about it. Four fouls, four team fouls on each uh, player. Murray got cracked in the mouth pretty good that time. Schrader was in for like 20 seconds. Yeah. Handle the ball, boys. He got, yep, he got the one that got hit in the mouth. Yeah. Stood in there nicely. Three-pointer would give him the lead, Marty. Yep. Tudis in the lane, put it up and in, and he's fouled. O'Reilly well, was two of 11, but the third basket pulls him to even. Eight points now for Riley, looking for number nine and giving uh, South the lead. Right now we're tied at 42, and you're right about the free throws. Completes a three-point play, and it's 43-42. The first lead since early in the first quarter when South led eight to six. Bayport down. Murray's just bumping them all up the floor. And Tachik throws the ball away. <laughs> How about a break there? He got just rolled the whole time. 6.50 left. Bayport trailing. They don't have to say that very often. Well, they lost at Pulaski 42 to 40. I got a feeling we'll get a little higher than it is right now. Inside feed to Murray is tipped away. South will keep it. Ball coming right into your living room there. Yeah, really. Cowards guarding Berlin, inside feed to Blusky who kicks it back out. Little inside outside action and I'll tell you, Hodgson rode Blusky right out yep. from the three, three foot mark out to about the five foot mark and no call. Short. Uh, you got a rebound boys. Inside feed, Hodgson. Too easy. Forty four forty three timeout Bayport. It's a full timeout with uh, six twelve remaining Bayport on top. Big dreams and good grades aren't enough to get into college. There are actual steps you need to take. Finding someone who can help is the first and most important. For the next steps, go to knowhowtogo.org. Porter scoring uh, Bayport at 21 in the first, 14 in the second, but only seven in the third. South has been a little more consistent with uh, 15, 11, and 12. Give a shout out to uh, Sim Safford for uh, 
announcing the broadcast times for this game. He's uh, always more than willing to help us out. Same with Bill Horsch over at the North. Ditter for three. Ditter down the baseline. Ditter for two. Ah. The glass is no good. Had a good look. Toshek in the way provided a pretty good obstacle, however. Brzezinski. Shot is blocked. Boy, it looked like an over the back by uh, Tudis, but no call. Coach uh, Rickle not complaining either, so it must have been pretty good. I'd get it inside to uh, Berlin. Let him work on Calwerts. Use that speed, Ethan. A 14 footer by Ethan is good. Nice shot. He's too struggling. He's just two of seven, but he's coming up money now. Like Tudis, one point lead, 519. Melker gets in the lane. Short. 13 footer is no good. Three south guys going after the ball. Good job, Red Wings. South with the lead and the ball. Rolling down to the five minute mark. Ochek playing a good defense. And now South slowing it down. Ethan Berlin. Scoop oh shot. <laughs> His prayer was answered. And a three point lead. <laughs> good replay, Kerry. Kerry Kautzer in the truck. Eric Wiesman running the floor camera. And uh, Richard Bartson up here with us. Chris White, right? Color man. And I'm Mike Martin, a play by play guy. And we're having a good time tonight. Hodgson off his knee. Nope, tipped out of bounds by uh, Riley Tudis. Schrader coming in. And also coming in for uh, Bayport is Tyler Turgeon. We haven't seen much of him tonight. Melker's had a hot hand for the most part, although he's been pretty quiet this quarter. Calwerts off the glass. You know, when he shot that, I thought we... <laughs> That was no way it was going in. He, <laughs> I felt the same way, but it just dropped right in the basket. Kick out. Blusky had it inside, but uh, couldn't do much with it. And timeout by South. Four minutes left. They're up by one, and they have the ball, and we have a full timeout. Uh, Kerry, why don't you take us to a break? Uh, what looks good? Our special today is shrimp scampi. It's been sitting around for about a week. Excuse me. What time are you guys leaving? We're going to rob your house tonight. Don't you wish there were warnings to protect you from life's risks? With diabetes, there is one. It's called A1C, a simple blood test that helps measure your risk of a heart attack and other complications. Learn more at diabetesa1c.org. Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, there you see uh, Tim Schultz uh, talking to the troops. And again, Richard Bartson getting a little help from the coach, getting a great shot there. We had that last uh, last game with uh, Tom Desatel. It's kind of like, come on into my living room and I'll show you what we do. Well, Marty asked for them to make a basket and they have been making some baskets. South is four of six and a quarter. You know who's really gone cold is Bayport. I mean, they had what? 35 after at halftime. They're stuck on 46. They have just 11 points in 12 minutes. Wow. So spreading it out a little bit, Ugh. bringing it way out to half court. I'd like to see him run a little bit of offense and get another hoop. 345 remaining in the ball game. Oh, Berlin on a good move inside, and Hodgson commits the foul, and uh, he doesn't like the call, but it was a great move by Ethan. Four fouls on South. That's the sixth on Bayport. Berlin will be shooting two. South up a one. Ugh. Woefully short. Yeah, I thought Ethan, when he made that, before that, Great basket when he made that one before. He kind of put it in, but it was on a liner, and that's kind of what that free throw was. Little knees there. That a boy. Get in there. 
Way to talk it in, coach. You are the man. <laughs> they like you over here at South, especially when you're wearing red. <laughs> <laughs> Ditter not playing good defense, but Berlin bails him out with a nice rebound underneath. South up two with the ball. Schrader. This could be a big one. Ditter oh. with a good arch. Tap in by Tudis is no. And then coming away with it is Calwart's one of the smallest guys on Bayport. Right underneath there with the big guys. That was a seventh rebound for Tudis. Hotchik a kick out to Melkar. No they are good. Cold. Hodgson with a good tip got the rebound. Berlin not going for the pump fake. Calwart shot is no good. Tudis with a strong rebound. He gets fouled and they don't call it. But they're going to give South the ball out of bounds. Wow. Well, you couldn't have picked a better guy to get the rebound than Tudis because he's probably as strong as anybody out there. But uh, he got hammered pretty good, no call. South will keep it and they have a two point lead. Hodgson, uh, pretty good quickness on the D. You're gonna have to watch out for him. Berlin with a 12 footer, nothing but the bottom of the net. Three for his last three, he's feeling it. 50 to 46. Senior leader. 220 and counting. Right now. You know, Bayport's kind of gotten away from their game. They're going all threes. And a bump. They're going to get Schrader on a bump. Uh, nickel and dimer for sure. Oh, they're calling it on Ditter. And for uh, him, it's his third foul. Fifth team foul. Bayport has six. There you can see it. And Bayport is losing by four, but they have the ball. Peyton Armstrong in the game. Turgeon oh shot is no good. Jeez. These officials, I'll tell you. <laughs> wow. We will not get anybody in the bonus. Ooh, dangerous pass. Murray. Murray, keep Getting it out bumped, of there, bumped. Murray. Uh, I don't know if I like some of this work here, Chris. Murray lowered the shoulder and uh, went right into uh, Tachik. Good call there. But uh, right from the get-go, I didn't like the way the offense was moving. Just didn't seem very uh, smooth. Well, uh, the Bayport is 0 for 9 from three-point land here in the second half. They are 2 of 11 in the quarter. Just struggling with 11 points in the whole half. Hodgson, pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, and one too many pump fakes, he gets called for the travel. Sure got to the basket somehow. <laughs> Coach Rickle doesn't like the call. Could have been a travel there. Oh. Are you kidding me? Man. Oh man, you gotta call something. People are gonna get hurt. Well, Ethan, bang, I thought they might, jeez. Oh, Actually, I like the way Ethan played that. You know, he yep. caused the contact. Yep. Pull it back out. There's a 125 remaining, and South has a four-point lead. Now you got to make your free throws. Chris mentioned this earlier, especially at this juncture. Hodgson with his uh, third. There for the taking. Bayport can't, the Bayport can't throw it in the ocean. It's there for the taking. I'll tell you, if that was not good form by Cal, it went in, but if you watch, his knees straightened up and then he first released the ball. Your uh, release and your knees coming up should all happen at about the same time. Let's see how he does on this attempt. Same thing, and couldn't get it to go. Tachik with the rebound, but South now has a five point lead. His 11th. He's out of bounds. Out of bounds, Melker. Not good court awareness. 118, South with a five point lead. Brock Macomb comes in. Melker comes out. That's a good guy to have out, Chris. He's been a pretty good scorer for them. Also checking in is Zach Brzezinski. And coming out is uh, the big guy. 
Ryan Tachik. He must be falling right away. Oh, oh no! Oh, man. Travel. <sighs> Three-pointer to first one of the game. Hodgson puts it in of the second half, I should say. Aye. All right. That's something you see on Wednesday night when we play. South up 51-49, but I'll tell you, oh man. Uh, Turnover off the basket. <laughs> he almost put it in. Actually, you know, I don't think South has been running their offense very smoothly. That's That scares me in that uh, last, not this possession, but the one before it when they were actually on the offensive end. Uh, I'd like to see Berlin get it more on this uh, full court pressure. And I don't think they're looking for him enough. And then once we get it to him, and he guy hammers him, dribbling it up the floor, let's call a foul. Yeah. Well, it's afraid with that. You know, they bump him, and it gets loose, and they get an easy basket on the other end. Good job by Murray, and he gets it up across half court, which is good. Told you. How can you not call a foul? Well, we get it. So we can't complain. Then Hodgson complains about it. Well, I think he probably fouled the early ones, but that one he probably got the pick. His fourth. Well, Murray, let's make more than one. Again, it's uh, one and one. He's going to need to make this one to get the next one. South up two, 102 remaining. Around and down. Hoo -hoo. It almost looked like the hoop didn't want it, but uh, it did go in. Good shooting, Thomas. That's uh, Blusky. Oh, good save by Tachek. South up three, under a minute. Hodgson, leaner gets it in. What a shot. Watch this. Oh man, that he's been a, a flyer. That should have been a foul too. He got ridden out of there. South up by one, 52-51, 53.8 seconds left. How do you get Berlin the ball on the inbounds, Chris? <laughs> exactly, well they're gonna deny him, and Colwerts is pretty fast. Uh, they gotta get some free throws, they've missed a couple now, huh Marty? They're at 50% here the last four, six. Four, five, six, seven. They've made four out of seven, but of the last six, only three out of six, you're right. Uh, two, four, six, seven, eight in the quarter, only four out of eight. Uh, uh, so not good free throw shooting when, uh, when the chips are down. You never answered my question. How do you get him? He's gotta <laughs> get, he's gotta you get a screen or something to get open. They're all over him. But you got a screen or even double screen to get him open if that's the guy you want to get the ball to. Watch for Bayport to trap or follow early. You know, they can let uh, they don't have to follow that quickly. I mean, they're, they're only down by one. They can wait for uh, one south. One part of the floor that I think will be open is uh, if they set it up the way they did last time with the two guys on the free throw line when they split. Uh, right now, I think that's Murray at half court can just come right up to the free throw line, beat Tachek to the spot. Yep. Just like this. Time out by South again, or this time by South. The last one was by Bayport. One time out for Bayport, two for South, I believe. Two, three, I've got them for three, but that's totally unofficial. I've got South for three also. I got. I think they got one left because they had to call that one earlier when they made that little goof thing yeah, there. that's probably the one I didn't record. Um, a lot of game left. Yeah. Tell ya, Ethan Berlin has been just studly huh? here in the fourth quarter, as is Riley Tudis, Thomas Murray. Getting a big basket there. Berlin has seven points in the quarter. Oh, that's close. Oh, we. Man. Ditter wants it. You gotta like a guy like that. You know, come on over here and follow me. I'll put the free throws in. Yep. I tell you that five second count was awfully slow. <laughs> I'd like to see that in real time. 
a good shot of Taylor and behind him Thomas Murray out at half court. South with a one point lead, 48.9 seconds remaining. Oh, miss. Jeez. Hodgson, good hustle by uh, Tudis. And then he shoots a lean in and they're gonna get Riley with a foul. I'll tell you, Hodgson's a heck of a ball player, Chris. I think he traveled. Coach Schultz asking the same thing as I look down there. 39 seconds left, this will be two. Next time South gets fouled, it's double bonus time. Bayport's just in a straight bonus and he missed the first. That looked pretty good though. Yeah, Hodgson has 16. Tachik with 12. Murray has 13 for uh, South. We're tied with 39.2 seconds left. Maybe Bayport will panic here and foul. I mean, they just have to play it straight. Murray rolled it in. That a boy. Good pass by Tudis. Bayport hustling. Hodson has it. Gets around Blusky. Rims out. Tough break. And oh. a travel. <laughs> Tudis with a takedown. And you can see that left right arm take him down. And wow. they call a travel on Hodgson. That's... Whoa, that was a bad... Well, it's a good miss if you're a south sider. It's a bad miss for Bayport. That is just a horrid call. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let's see how they break from the free throw line. Uh, timeout by South. There's 19.7 seconds left. South has the lead. Hey, Kerry, if you can show a replay of that again, uh, we can get a good look at uh, the action as uh, Hodgson went to the floor. Well, I hope he can get that for us before we come back, but... Uh, hey, it's been bad both ways. No, you're right, you're I right. Mean, it's, I mean, we had Blusky down here getting driven about eight feet from the block to the free throw line, and... Uh, <laughs> here you're gonna see, watch underneath. <laughs> a one arm takedown. <laughs> well, if you're gonna have anybody do it, you might as well have Riley. He's <laughs> as strong as anybody out there. Oh yes. Good job, Kerry. Bo Moose. Kerry is the uh, replay guru tonight. And uh, heck of a job out there. We've got one game left. There you see some of the crew. Joe Tom, Trilling, yep. Tom Pitch. Harrison. There, that's that's the assistant coaching staff for Salt. <laughs> I want to see how you're going to get uh, look out deep. Ditter uh, with a good arm. Yep. Pitcher. That's a good shot. Oh, I thought you had Berlin there. Murray followed by Armstrong. And uh, that's a 10th. Foul, South will get two free throws. Murray, the difference of that big basket a couple of minutes ago, just over the top it rolled in there. Thomas Murray only one for three in the quarter. That's a big one, it gives uh, South a three point lead. This one will make it a two possession game if he can put it in. Interesting to take Armstrong out, your three point shooter. Well, he brings in Hodgson. That's a good bring back, but you're right. Rims out. 15 seconds. Tachik forced to bring it up. Melker. Rims off. Riley Tunis with Game. the rebound. Pulls it down. Murray's going to lay it up. No, give it off to Dinner for two, and that's the ball game. South. A winner, 
almost half of all parents who suspect their child has a problem learning wait a year or more before getting them help. Why? When there's so much they could be achieving. Kids with learning disabilities are smart. They just learn differently. Call or visit us on the web now. Excuse me, Mr. Executive, who studied trigonometry back in school and now sits in a huge office and drives a finely tuned luxury car. Yes, Mr. Only learned basic math, so still have an entry-level job and have to live with your mother. Uh, if you need me this weekend, I'll be here filling out your expense reports and timesheets because that's really the only kind of math I can handle. Great. Simple addition and subtraction sound right up your alley. Have a great weekend in the country, sir. My cell phone number and John's cell phone number. Hey, pretty. And um, number the restaurant where we're going to be. And oh, I've um, left you my pager number too, just in case, because you never know. Um, John, you have the gift. The odds of a babysitter calling 911: one in fourteen hundred. So should happen, please don't hesitate. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism: one in one hundred and fifty. You know the odds of autism. Now learn the signs. Go to autismspeaks.org. Okay, this time, I'm going to do it. I'm going to actually go to school. Tell me about some of the stuff you've had to deal with. I just dropped out completely. I just got caught up in it, the whole scene with the alcohol and the drugs. I was arrested. A lot of my friends, they were really concerned, especially my friend Aaron. You just have to find someone. They don't have to tell you advice. They don't have to do that. They just listen. Give Frankie and our class of 08 the boost they need to graduate. Join us at BoostUp.org. Chris is standing by on the floor. Senior night, big victory. I asked for these guys to come up with a signature win. They got it over uh, a very tough Bayport team. Yeah, let's talk to you a little bit. Uh, my gosh, you held them guys to 17 points in the second half. Unbelievable. Yeah, uh, we really stepped it up in the second half on D and uh, came away with the victory, I guess. <laughs> You guessed it was a great win. They came out here, they're all really somber and stuff like that. It was just, a, a, I think we're more excited than these guys are here. Maybe they'll celebrate later, but, uh, you know, you've been waiting for a big win, you know, all season, and, and this is just to kind of have, to, just to finish on your senior night. Yeah, no, it's great. Uh, you know, we all we all knew this was going to be a big game. Bayport, you know, great team, top of the conference, and uh, we took it to them, and um, obviously we did enough there. Yes, you did. Hey, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, memories you have from South and playing here, here in your last night. Any thoughts at all? Overall, I'd have to say, uh, you know, the sectionals for uh, my, senior, or my junior year was a great experience just overall. These guys, you know, they're, they're great. All my friends, all my best friends, and uh, it's great to be out there with them and uh, keep going. Keep going into the playoffs this year. Hopefully we get cut far. Hope you guys do do well. So what's it mean to you uh, being here for all these years? Well, it's a lot to me. Um, the last couple of years we've gotten to sectionals, and a lot of people were down us this year. And I think we've really stepped it up a lot, so proved a lot of people wrong this year. Yeah, people doubting you guys. You know, people say, hey, what's going on? Well, you've only put up 14 wins this year. It's been a heck of a, a job for you. Uh, what was your thoughts preparing for Bayport and things, you know, did it matter they're uh, number one in the conference, or was it just like any other week for you guys? Yeah, we knew coming into the game that they're a tough team, and we knew that if we won, we'd get a, hopefully a home, home court uh, for the regional section of the game. Regional game, sorry about that. And um, we just kind of played it out throughout the week and hopefully got a W throughout the game. So, well, Congratulations. Any lasting things that you remember about everything besides the sectional games or practices or anything? Uh, probably, hopefully, to make new memories this year going throughout the Boy, he says all the correct things and things like that. <laughs> Riley, uh, good job. You guys couldn't make a basket. I don't. I think you were two for ten or something like that. And then both you guys hit big baskets here in the fourth quarter. Just got to keep shooting, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, I just kind of. I I knew I had lost my rhythm, so I just figured I got to go to the passing game, and I hit Thomas and Ethan and Cal, everybody in the post, Mike Trader. So that's what we went to. I thought tonight it was just a war down there, very physical basketball game. Yeah, it was. It was very, uh, guys were tugging jerseys and pulling down arms on rebounds. It was, an, it was a physical game, but we knew that was, gonna, it was, coming, in, or that was coming in when we came into the game. And uh, we came out, in physic, or out physical them. Yeah, you did, and good defense on their, their guys, too. I mean, we mentioned it with Cal before. You really had to shut those guys down. I mean, they get a lot of baskets inside. They really wear you down. Yeah, they, 
Well, that's what we do in practice. One of one of our drills is defensive slides, and you can show it's paying off right now. Coach Schultz, Coach Damp, it's it's unbelievable feeling right now. Well, uh, you had a nice career here, both in football and uh, basketball and track, as a matter of fact. Any memories from basketball and things over the last couple of years? Uh, team meals, as they said over the loudspeaker. Uh, bus rides home from wins, victories like this. Um, it's huge. Uh, sectional finals last year, and then hopefully we make a run this year. Not video games, though? No. No. <laughs> congratulations. Hopefully we'll see you in the playoffs. Uh, Ethan, congratulations. You're on the show here. That's right. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Things like that. Nice win for your team. Uh, you had one four in a row, and I said before, you guys needed to get a big victory, and this is just one of those big ones, huh? Yeah, I mean, uh, they really set us up perfectly with the seating being tomorrow and everything, and so playing, you know, the top-ranked team in the conference, no way better than to beat them right before the seating meeting and you know we knew we had to come with a victory we had a long week to prepare and uh, we executed what we wanted to do and we came out with a victory yeah you just you just hung in there with them there's no question about that and memories for you just being able you know given the ability to play with my friends you know we see each other every day for four months plus during the summer so you know they you see them every day you, they become your best friends and just having the opportunity to play with them you know day in and day out that's that's my favorite memory well, one of the things you, you could point is a lot of people don't think about all the summer in the weight room and, you know, four years of that and together and, foot, you know, most people just see the, you know, the nine football games every year or the 20-some basketball games, but there's a lot of days that you guys spend together. Yeah, since middle school, since, you know, even elementary school, we've been playing together. You know, we know each other, we hang out and everything, you know, it's special to get a win like this, especially on senior night, you know, knowing these guys, so we'll be able to talk about this for a long time. Well, congratulations to all you gentlemen. You, you made your school very proud. You're good seniors and great leadership from all of you. Uh, with that, we'll send it back to Marty. Great job on the interview, Chris. Uh, South uh, with a 57-52 win. Some key stats in the second half. Bayport only had 17 points. They scored 35 in the first half. South was much more balanced. They had 26 first half points and followed that up with uh, 31 in the second half. With the win, South runs their record to 14 and 7 overall, 10 and 5 in conference. Bayport drops to a very respectable 17 and 4, 13 and 2 in conference. Leading scorers for uh, the Pirates, Stephen Hodgson, number two, at 17 points. He led their team. Ryan Tachek had uh, 12 points, but he had eight of those in the first half and uh, really fell off in the second half. wasn't much of a factor. Joey Calwart had seven. And Nate Melker, who had 10 points in the first half to lead all scores, only had one in the second half and finished with 11 points. For the uh, Red Wings, uh, you saw him in the interview. Ethan Berlin had nine points, but uh, he was a, much more of a factor than just in the scoring. However, in the fourth quarter, he came up huge with seven of his nine points. Uh, Taylor Ditter, not starting tonight, but finished with 11 points. Uh, Riley Tudis, uh, you saw him on the interview, did a really great job of uh, battling inside and uh, limiting the uh, Bayport inside game. He finished with nine points and a, a boatload of rebounds. And Thomas Murray led all scores for uh, Sheboygan South. He had 16 points. A great win for the uh, Southsiders. Our next game is going to be next Friday when Oostburg invades Sheboygan Lutheran. And uh, we don't have anything set up yet, but we're hoping that we can uh, pick up a couple of uh, playoff games. We'll uh, get that in the paper and let you know about that. For the crew, Kerry Coutts are outstanding on the replays, Kerry. Great job on that. I know the fans really enjoy that. Our cameraman, again, doing an outstanding job with the Eric Wiesman on the floor, Cameron Richard Bartson on top. And for my uh, very affable uh, partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road. One more time, south of winter, 57-52.